welcome to the ESP32 configuration in Visual Studio Code. As we all know, we need to install the extension first of all. Go to extension and search for ESP-IDF. Where you can get their expressive, that is ESP company. Their extension we have to install. So it's got starting installing. It will be taking almost 30 seconds something. So it is completed its installation. Now you can see it is already available in the bottom section. So it is getting updated. Once you click on it, we can either ins install it as Express, which will be a faster installation. And this is like advanced, we can select the location, folders, everything we can manually select it. I'll be going for the advanced one. So first we need to select the location from where it should be downloaded whether it is from a Espresif or a GitHub. Let's go for the GitHub and the location has to be given here. Location is selected. It comes by default if you want you can change it. Now go to install. This step will take some time. First of all installing the IDF. ID files are installed. Now it's going for the Python. It's also got installed. The next step installing ESP IDF. And also in bottom, you can see the status of uh, working. It's got uh, started downloading. Installation time will depend upon your speed of internet. Because you can see here, it is just downloading from the server. After downloading, it got started to install the files. I'll just skip for some time. The previous installer steps are completed. Now it came into the download tools section. Download tools. Tools will be consisting of different uh, tool chains and the compiler, then compo selection. Like these kind of tools, we have to install separately. Since I didn't install previously, I am just downloading right now. This ESP we can also program with their own IDE. And finally, it is installing the virtual environment for Python. Actually, I have already installed with the Python virtual environment so all the configuration is completed now let's try with a simple program 